Hi, my name is Darius from Team Solo Mid, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Olaf vs. Riven. From levels 1 to 2, this lane is very, very crazy because whoever wins the first trade is probably going to win the lane. When you fight Riven as Olaf, you want to make sure you always go all in when she queues on you because if you don't go all in and you go for small trades, you'll eventually end up losing. Whereas she'll go all in on you with a Q and then try to back off. And during that time she's trying to back off, you want to just keep throwing axes at her and auto attacking and praying that you get that 1% crit chance hit. If you get that crit hit, you're probably going to win the lane. And when you play the lane, you just slowly snowball it so you can deny as many minions as possible. From levels 3 to 4 on Olaf, it gets a little bit harder because Riven gets her full kit, which allows her to harass you for free but also during this time when your Q is level 2 and you have your abilities you straight up win all ins. You want to control the wave really well to where it's pushing towards you after pushing it into tower and calling for jungler gank since this lane is so crazy or you can build up a wave and dive riven. If you cannot dive Riven, building up a wave is just fine because once that wave hits tower, you can go back to base and get a good buy timer and get your Doran's Blades and your Ninja Tabba and whatever core items you need. Levels 5 to 6 is also very important because when Riven gets her ult, she generally can beat you because she just has more damage overall. It's really important to not fight her when she has more creeps since it applies both ways whereas if you have more creeps she shouldn't fight you and if she has more creeps you shouldn't fight her because generally you need every bit of hp when it comes to all in and, and fighting whoever wins out in the first trade or death is probably gonna win the lane and on top of that wh whichever jungler plays better and ganks the other top laner better is just gonna straight up win from this point on when playing as Olaf versus Riven, you want to make sure every action and move you do is meaningful. Whether it's building up a wave or calling up gank up from the jungler when the wave's coming towards you. Or whether it's building up a wave and making a TP play on the other side of the map. Everything you do as Olaf will greatly impact you. Whether it'll give you the power to run people over or just get ran over. Olaf is an early to mid game champion. But if he snowballs early game, he can easily be a late game champion that's really, really hard to deal with. Therefore, everything you do is very important and mastering Olaf as a champion where you just straight up dive the back line is very, very key when having su success with Olaf. For runes on Olaf versus Riven, I like to go flat AD reds with one crit chance rune, flat AD quints, flat armor yellows, and flat CDR Blues. For Masters on Olaf, I like to go 21-9. For Skill Order on Olaf versus Riven, it's very optional, but I like to max Q on Olaf at all times. The only reason why you would max E first is to deny Riven and just spam E every time it's up. This is a viable strategy, but you'll often see Riven's roam a lot more since you don't have any wave control. Therefore, maxing Q first and going E second is the most optimal skill route. For item build on Olaf against Riven, I like to go two Doran's Blades into Ninja Tabai. The re reasoning for this is this is a very volatile matchup of where whoever's ahead is just going to straight up win. It's really important to go these two Doran's Blades because it gives you the most fighting power and so does Tabai. When starting out against Riven, you have an option of going Cloth 5 if you don't do a camp or do go Doran's Blade and just do a camp and get 5 potions as you TP into lane. As for other items on Olaf, you go Black Cleaver as your main core into either more damage to negate Riven's shield or you can go Randuin's Omen or even a frozen mallet. After this, when it comes to MR options, you have an option of either going Hex Drinker or Banshee's Veil. You can go Spirit Facade if you don't have enough CDR, and you can also go GA if they have a mix of both. Thanks for watching my solo lane tactics guide to Olaf vs. Riven. Be sure to check out my other guides at lowclass.com. You can either rush down the back line and coordinate with your teammates to dive or you can just go on the tanks 
and then peeled back after chasing the